Hello guys, some time ago on this channel I've shot a video about API resources and reusing the same resource for different endpoints like index, show and list and in case of different result expected it's better, in that video I told you, it was better to create different API resource classes like categories resource, category show resource and categories list resource. Follow up on this video is this one right here based on your comments and on general knowledge, I try to go the other way. So for example, if you have category resource reused in three endpoints, but you have a problem that in different endpoints, you need slightly different results. So for example, for the list of categories, you need ID name and shortened description. Then for showing the category, you need full description, for example, and for list of categories, which is for the dropdown values, you don't need that description at all. So how to do that within the same resource class, API resource, I will show that in this video. So to visualize the current problem again, you have the list of API categories and you have shortened description. And for categories show for this endpoint, you would need to have full description shown. And for a list of categories, you don't need that description at all. So as I've shown in the previous video, and by the way, the link will be in the description below, you can create separate API resource classes. So category resource, then category show resource with full description, and then category list resource without any description at all. And then you can use, for example, category show resource here. But again, let's reuse the same category resource instead. And let's see how we can add conditions here to format the description differently or even hide that at all. The main trick here is that there is a request as a parameter by default in API resource. And that request includes routes. So you can check what route, what endpoint that is, and then return different values based on that. So for example, we can do request route is, and then some pattern like for example, categories dot star, would correspond to any route of typical route resource controller, like categories.index, categories.store, and others. And in our case, in routes API, we have API resource for the categories, except for the lists. So there is a separate API endpoint, list categories, which doesn't even have its own name. So that would be a different scenario in request route is. So we can add the condition if request route is this, then we do return the description. And then there will be another condition, whether it's categories index or categories show. But let's cut and paste here. And in here, we need to have some kind of if statement. How do you do that? Of course, you can do something like route is and then ternary operator. But API resources in Laravel have specific syntax called this when, which is field name description, this when condition and here we paste and then second parameter is a callback function from that condition and then we for example return this here so we return the description only if the route is this and that would be step one let's try it out so now if we relaunch from the postman the api slash categories the result doesn't change. API categories show, the result doesn't change. But if we have lists, we refresh and description is gone. So this endpoint doesn't have route name of categories dot asterisk this. So that's the first when statement. And then inside of this function, we can use another when statement, in this case, a typical if statement or a ternary operator. So for example, let's do that with if request and we don't have that request inside of that callback function this is important we need to pass that with use request here and now we do the same if request route is categories index for example then we return one result otherwise we return another result so for the index we need shortened description otherwise we just return the description and there are two ways how you can write it in a different fashion and I will show that in a minute but for now let's try it out does it work so when we relaunch the API categories we have a shortened description 
when we launch list categories, we didn't change or break anything. But when we launch the categories show, as you can see, description is in full. So it does work. Now, to make it a bit shorter, there are two ways. First, instead of doing if else, you may do just return this description like this. And that would be considered kind of like early return. So if a rare condition, then we return some formatting. Otherwise, we return the default description. So that's one way. Or you can perform a ternary operator. Let's roll back a bit and do return. This would be the condition. Then this would be one case. We returning substring actually on a new line. And then another option would be without else, without return would be like this. Not sure. Some people prefer shorter code like this one. Some prefer if else as it's more readable, although a bit longer. Let's try it out. If I didn't break anything, relaunch, it still works. If you want more tips like this one, not only from me, but from Laravel community, I collect new tips and articles and videos into my weekly newsletter, which I send every Thursday. And as an example of one of the previous newsletters, it contains the links from my YouTube channel from last week and then from Laravel community. There are a lot of, as you can see, articles, new tools from GitHub, new YouTube videos, blog articles from JetBrains, PHP Storm, creators, and more. So in the description below, you will find the link to subscribe to that newsletter and join currently 6,000 subscribers. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.